The prayer to Saint Michael usually refers to one Catholic prayer to Michael the Archangel, among the various prayers in existence that are addressed to him. This prayer was incorporated into the rubrics of the Low Mass of the Catholic Church from 1886 to its suppression in 1964. Other prayers to Saint Michael have also been officially approved and printed on prayer cards. In the Leonine prayers In 1886, Pope Leo XIII added a prayer to Saint Michael to the Leonine prayers, which he had directed to be prayed after Low Mass two years earlier. Variant English translations have, Holy Michael, Saint Michael, Malice and Snares, May God rebuke him, Cast into hell, All evil spirits, Prowl through the world seeking the ruin, and other differences. The English translation that was used in Ireland is quoted in James Joyce's novel Ulysses, The Prayer's opening words are similar to the Alleluia verse for St. Michael's feasts on 8 May and 29 September in the Roman Missal of the Time, which ran Sancta Michael, defend nos in proelio ut non paremus in tremendo udicio, St. Michael, defend us in battle that we might not perish at the dreadful judgment. History The Leonine Prayers originated in 1884, when Pope Leo XIII ordered certain prayers to be said after Low Mass, in defense of the independence of the Holy See. God's help was sought for a satisfactory solution to the loss of the Pope's temporal sovereignty, which deprived him of the independence felt to be required for effective use of his spiritual authority. The prayer to St. Michael described above was added to the Leonine prayers in 1886. The Pope's status as a temporal leader was restored in 1929 by the creation of the State of Vatican City, and in the following year, Pope Pius XI ordered that the intention for which these prayers should from then on be offered was to permit tranquility and freedom to profess the faith to be restored to the afflicted people of Russia. The practice of reciting this and the other Leonine prayers after Mass was officially suppressed by the 26th of September 1964 Instruction Inter Oecumenici, which came into effect on the 7th of March 1965, removing the obligation to recite this prayer along with the three. Hail Mary. S. The Hail Holy Queen, and the prayer for the Church after Low Mass did not mean forbidding its use either privately or publicly in other circumstances, but not at Mass time. And thirty years later, in his Regina Cayley address on Sunday, the 24th of April 1994, Pope John Paul II recommended its use, saying, "May prayer strengthen us for the spiritual battle that the letter to the Ephesians speaks of. Be strong in the Lord and in the strength of His might." Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10. The book of Revelation refers to this same battle, recalling before our eyes the image of Saint Michael the Archangel cf. Revelation chapter 12 verse 7. Pope Leo XIII certainly had this picture in mind when, at the end of the last century, he brought in, throughout the Church, a special prayer to Saint Michael. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. Although this prayer is no longer recited at the end of Mass, I ask everyone not to forget it and to recite it to obtain help in the battle against the forces of darkness and against the spirit of this world. <laughs> the crisis of the Church in 2018 and the reintroduction of the prayer to Saint. Michael the Archangel <laughs> Following the sex scandal involving several members of the episcopate and the clergy, Pope Francis asked the faithful around the world to recite the Holy Rosary to the Blessed Virgin Mary daily, throughout the month of October, together with fasting and penance as already requested in the Letter to the People of God of 20 August 2018 for the protection of the Church against Satan, the Great Accuser, ending it with the ancient prayer, Sub Tum Presidium dedicated to the Virgin and with the prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. Moreover, several bishops in the world have asked for the reintroduction of prayer to St. Michael at the end of each Mass, in particular topic. United States topic. Archdiocese of Hartford, Connecticut ABP. Leonard P. Blair Archdiocese of Kansas City, Kansas ABP. 
Joseph Fred Nauman Archdiocese of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania ABP. Charles J. Chaput Archdiocese of Portland, Oregon ABP. Alexander K. Sample Diocese of Allentown, Pennsylvania BP. Alfred Andrew Schlert Diocese of Brightageport, Connecticut BP. Frank Jospe Caggiano Diocese of Fort Wayne, South Bend, Indiana BP. Kevin C. Rhodes Diocese of Gallup, New Mexico BP. James S. Wall Diocese of Knoxville, Tennessee BP. Richard Sticka Diocese of Madison, Wisconsin BP. Robert C. Morlino Diocese of Orange, California BP. Kevin W. Van Diocese of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania BP. David A. Zuick Diocese of Springfield, Illinois BP. Thomas J. J. Paprotsky Diocese of Toledo, Ohio BP. Daniel E. Thomas Topic. Exorcism prayer Topic. Topic. 1890 original version Topic. On 18 May 1890, 20 years after the capture of Rome had deprived the Pope of the last vestige of his temporal sovereignty, and the papal residence at the Quirinal Palace had been converted into that of the King of Italy, Pope Leo XIII granted indulgences to bishops and to priests lawfully authorized by their ordinaries who each day would devoutly recite a formula of exorcism against Satan and the rebel angels. The formula of exorcism, which was then inserted into the Roman ritual, contained within it a quite different prayer to St. Michael, of which the following is an English translation. As everyone may read, the text contains a prophecy about the dominant role of Satan and his human servants upon the head of the Catholic Church. After the year 1888, when the prayer was written, the see of most blessed Peter the Apostle, the first Pope, Matthew chapter 16, 18, is in Rome, where he spent the last time of his life, and then died. The above mentioned formula was not meant as a rite for exorcising a particular person, but for general use, to combat the power of the evil spirits over a community or locality, or home and family that are still not possessed by a demon in their body. The complete prayer to St. Michael Archangel is officially called as Exorcismus in Satanum ed Angelos e Apostaticos, exorcism against Satanum and his angels apostate, with the mandatory use of the sign of the cross by one hand during some signed points of this worship with or without sacramental such as the holy water and the Christian cross. The prayer to St. Michael that was included in this general exorcism had in fact been published and indulgence two years earlier, in 1888, two years after the insertion of the more familiar prayer to St. Michael into the Leonine prayers. Topic. 1902 abbreviated version In 1902, a year and a half before the death of Pope Leo XIII, a new edition of the Roman ritual considerably shortened the formula as a whole and in particular the prayer to Saint Michael within it, making that prayer a sort of preface to the prayer of exorcism. The prayer was shorn of the preceding versions paragraphs 2-6 and of the phrase in the Holy Church glories as her defense against the malicious powers of this world and of hell." In paragraph 7, in his English version of the Roman ritual, Philip T. Weller gives the following translation, Anthony Cecotta and Brian Kelly suggest that improved relations between the Holy See and the Kingdom of Italy, which from 1900 was under a new king, lay behind the 1902 excision of phrases such as these most crafty enemies have filled and inebriated with gall and bitterness the Church, the spouse of the Immaculate Lamb, and have laid impious hands on her most sacred possessions. And, in the holy place itself, where has been set up the see of the Most Holy Peter and the Chair of Truth for the Light of the World, they have raised the throne of the abominable impiety, with the iniquitous design that, when the pastor has been struck, the sheep may be scattered. These phrases have been interpreted as referring to the confiscation of church property by the government of Victor Emmanuel II of Italy and to the occupation by the King of Italy of the Quirinal Palace, which had been the Pope's residence and seat of civil government. In 1999, the Vatican issued a revised version of its rite of exorcism. 
The Latin text of the 1902 prayer to St. Michael was retained, unedited, in Appendix I. The Latin text of the 1886 prayer is also included, in Appendix II. Topic. Prayer of Consecration Topic. The Opus Sanctorum Angelorum presents the following prayer as an act of consecration to Saint Michael the Archangel, O most noble prince of the angelic hierarchies, valorous warrior of Almighty God and zealous lover of his glory, terror of the rebellious angels, and love and delight of all the just angels, my beloved Archangel Saint Michael, desiring to be numbered among your devoted servants, I, today offer and consecrate myself to you, and place myself, my family, and all I possess under your most powerful protection, I entreat you not to look at how little, I, as your your servant have to offer, being only a wretched sinner, but to gaze, rather, with favorable eye at the heartfelt affection with which this offering is made, and remember that if from this day onward I am under your patronage, you must during all my life assist me, and procure for me the pardon of my many grievous offenses, and sins, the grace to love with all my heart my God, my dear Saviour Jesus, and my sweet mother Mary, and to obtain for me all the help necessary to arrive to my crown of glory, defend me always from my spiritual enemies, particularly in the last moments of my life. Come then, O glorious Prince, and succor me in my last struggle, and with your powerful weapon cast far from me into the infernal abysses that prevaricator and proud angel that one day you prostrated in the celestial battle. Amen. Topic. Stories about the origin of the prayer Topic. An article in the Roman journal Ephemerides Liturgicae v. LXIX, pages 54-60 in 1955 gave an account in Latin and Italian of how the St. Michael prayer in the Leonine prayers originated. Footnote 9 of this account quotes an article in another Italian journal called La Settimana del Clero in 1947 by Domenico Pescianino, who worked at the Vatican during the time of Leo XIII, in which he said that after Leo had celebrated a Mass, he seemed to be staring at something, then went to his private office, with his attendants asking if he was well. Half an hour later he had written the St. Michael prayer. According to the same article in Ephemerides Liturgicae, Giovanni Nasali Rocca Cardinal di Corneliano wrote in his Literus Pastoralibus Pro Quadragesima pastoral letters for Lent that according to Leo's private secretary, Rinaldo Angeli, Leo had seen a vision of demonic spirits who were congregating on the Eternal City Rome. he wrote the St. Michael prayer, and often said it, in response to the vision. Leo also personally wrote an exorcism prayer included in the Roman ritual, and recommended that bishops and priests read these exorcisms often in their dioceses and parishes. He himself often recited them. Several variants of this story are told. The first to appear in print was in a 1933 German Sunday newspaper article, which stated that, as a result of the vision, shortly after 1880 Leo ordered the prayer to St. Michael to be recited. In reality, it was only in 1884 that the Pope instituted the Leonine prayers, still at that time without the prayer to St. Michael. A year later, a German writer, Fr. Burrs, tried to trace the origin of the story and declared that, though the story was widespread, nowhere could he find a trace of proof. Sources close to the institution of the prayer in 1886, including an account of a conversation with Leo XIII about his decision, say nothing of the alleged vision. Burrs concluded that the story was a later invention that was spreading like a virus. The story is also found in Karl Vogel. S. 1935 Begone Satan, a soul-stirring account of diabolical possession in Iowa. In a later version, the vision is said to have occurred not in 1880, but on 13 October 1884, the year in which the Leonine prayers were instituted but without the prayer to St. Michael, and yet another date, 25 September 1888, two years after Pope Leo XIII had added the prayer to the Leonine prayers, was given in a 1991 version. Another reported version of the vision relates a detailed conversation between between the voice of Satan, who said he would destroy the church if given enough power and time, and the voice of God, who permits Satan to do what he will. According to William Saunders, writing in the Arlington Catholic Herald, Leo said that God permitted Satan to choose a single century in which to work his worst against the church, he chose the 20th century, and God privately revealed the then future events of the 20th century to Leo. See also 
Topic: Chaplet of Saint Michael. Leonine prayers. Novena to Saint Michael. Saint Michael in the Catholic Church. Vade retro satana. Topic. References. Topic. Topic. Bibliography. Topic. Georges Huber, Arrière Satan, Le Diable Aujourd'hui, Paris, Tequi, 1992, pp. 18 to 20. Spanish translation. Topic. External links. Topic. Russia and the Leonine Prayers Pope John Paul II's Regina Celli Address of 24 April 1994 in Italian The Vision of Pope Leo XIII Latin to English literal translation of a shortened original exorcism against Satan and angel apostate Pope Leo XIII and the Prayer to Saint. Michael scholarly book.